My name is Jalita. I study actuarial science at the University of Hong Kong. Last week, they announced that there will no, there will be no face-to-face -face meeting in school. Honestly, by that time, I wasn't surprised. Because but, uh, HKU was, I think, one of the last universities that cancelled school. Um, all my friends that studied in HKUSD and CUHK, because they were hit hard first, they have left Hong Kong. Yeah, a lot of international people just felt it was no longer safe to live in Hong Kong. People in CUHK, they definitely were fleeing because the protests were happening right in front of their doorstep. So there were a lot of my Indonesian friends um, actually, so I'm from Indonesia, right? And then it's very nice that the Indonesian government they provided the shuttle bus to deliver you uh, to the airport. They actually provide this database on if you wanna stay in Hong Kong, you need to fill in this form so they could keep up uh, with how many people are still in Hong Kong and how many have left. People from all over. Uh, I mean, like my friend, my Korean friends, my Indian friends. I think yeah, Indonesian, Malaysian, even left. I think it's very sad. I think obviously, even like the protesters, nobody wanted this to happen, right? Because university is supposed to be a safe place. My family is in Indonesia. Everyone's like, why don't you just go back home? But I, I like Hong Kong. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm being irrational, but you know, I, I still want to live here. As of now, um, so I'm graduating this December, right? I'm hoping that I would still be able to work in Hong Kong. I need to start working by January. So I'm just finishing. I have stuff to do here, like um, interviews and stuff like that. I've lived here for four years. I know things hasn't been good for the last six months, but I know what Hong Kong looks like before all the chaos because I've lived here before. Right? So, so I'm still very optimistic of where things are going. I hope. I, I mean, like by by now, I feel like everyone just wants things to go back to normal.